this video I'm gonna show you how to quickly install GMT in your computer and uh, have a quick demo of it so if you are not familiar with GMT GMT is a software tool available for uh, plotting maps a very high quality maps uh, people usually use that for publication purposes so uh, if you want to install GMT the the usual way is just uh, go to the GMT website download the GMT and get started but uh, there you go so GMT 6 is uh, available so you can directly download the GMT from here and then you can uh, then set the path to this GMT and then use it and then you, you can use it system wise other ways available which are not so up to date is uh, use uh, like if you are using Ubuntu you can search uh, for installing on Ubuntu and GMT already have this documentation available and there you go so you can use apt-get to install GMT and similarly like uh, if you're using CentOS Fedora uh, you can install like that uh, but the one I'm I prefer is using the Conda uh, so th this is the easiest you can go if you're into using Python so for installing uh, Conda I would suggest you to install not the full Anaconda version but instead the mini Conda version which is far lighter than the full version uh, if the full version is size is probably around a couple of GBs but the, uh, the mini Conda version is simply uh, a few MB like 30 40 MB so and you can simply install miniconda by several ways uh, you can this i find this the easiest to just find the website yeah so there you go so if you are a windows user you can download the uh, installer and just uh, follow the the uh, prompts on the window similarly for the mac os or the linux you can download uh, the the bash file and you can use the bash to install it it's super simple and once you have a uh, mini conda install uh, i already have as you can see i'm already in the base environment and if you are to which python and you can see my python is pointing to the python inside the mini conda so this is ready but in, in this uh, tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, uh, the GMT installation so I prefer keeping the versions different so here I will first create an environment uh, using a mini conda so for creating environment I'll use like uh, GMT installation let's call it uh, and uh, let's call it python 3.7 so here uh, uh, the gmt environment name is gmt install uh, the conta environment name is gmt installation and the python version i'm using for this environment is 3.7 which is uh if you are simply gonna use gmt uh not with python then it doesn't matter which version you use for python because uh all you might need uh, is the GMT you simply to enter just follow the terminal prompts and you're good to go okay so now uh, the the our environment is ready so we can activate the environment by simply doing conda activate the environment name and we are inside the environment so uh, if we do this which Python to search for like uh, where is which Python you're using so you can see now we're not using the 
base environment instead we are using the python inside the jmt installation so we want to install jmt yeah so you can install jmt by simply getting the jmt from the conda forge and it will uh, get you the up-to-date jmt version or you can simply install the by GMT version, which is uh, which, in my view, is uh, much easier to use if you are a Python user. So uh, you can use PyGMT, and this uh, installation for PyGMT comes with the GMT uh, as the base. Okay, so uh, for installing uh, PyGMT is super simple. Uh, just do conda install and we can use the conda forge. And that's it. And just wait for it to finish. As you can see, it will install G uh, GMT 6.1.1, which is the recommended version from the GMT uh, website. Okay, so now our installation is ready. So if you do uh, Python and try to import uh, PyGMT, there you go. So we have PyGMT installed successfully and we can import it so great we can also try running gmt and we have gmt there as you can see so we can also even do uh, gmt ps ghost and we can use all the commands from gmt so let's try to simple uh, script uh, So let's try to run this script in the GMT. So all we will do is copy paste. So right now in my directory there is nothing. So I will create a file uh, test gmt.sh and we have the file in our directory and then uh, let's open it with the I use the VS code for my editing so I will open it in the VS code and here it is and I will copy and paste the full thing yeah and save it so and we can run it simply by uh, as a usual bash command and give it a couple of seconds that will download the required files and it's finished great and we have the image here so you see it's, it's super simple and strongly recommended to use this way thank you